Just taking Tasha's bike for a bit of a squirt. Beautiful steep hills here in Adelaide. This is why I love on my Pragma bikes, just a standard clamp. That bolt snapped. I was just putting the seat up and it just tightened and it snapped. So I've got no, uh, gonna go home. If that was proprietary, I'd be shagged, wouldn't I? You know? If the bolt snaps into a proprietary, so you'd be a bit shagged. So that's what I love about uh, non proprietary. I've got a sand cl seat clamp I'll put it on there. Just a standard 27.2. It's a bit easy, easy to place. I can, at my own time, leisure, I can drill out that bolt potentially and I reuse this clamp. So I think the bolt was titanium. There you go. Beautiful. Getting it done. A bolt is very, very rare, um, but I travel a lot. You know, these bikes get in and out of cardboard boxes all the time. Interstate, overseas travel, just chuck them in and out. And so this is great if I get to somewhere, you know, if I have an issue, like a seat post gets missing or bend something or snap something or scratch something, or it's just going to be replaced. I can go to any bike shop in the world pretty much, probably 95% of the bike shops in the world, and get a 27 two post and get a standard little clamp there, you know? Probably for like pennies, for like five, ten bucks, an old post or brand new Thompson. If I want to spend fifty or hundred bucks, so pragmatic products, and that's why on the Pragma bikes we spec, you know, stuff like this. Just works, man. It's proven product. Everything's gonna snap eventually, or fail, or strip out, or whatever. You're gonna have a problem with anything in life. This is how life is. Life is problems, and it's about finding solutions for that. A problem is just a situation waiting for a solution. And I like. Store, rent out of storage. I love simple product like this. It just works, man. Like, I don't have to go, you know, I just, I don't have to go to 10 million different bike shops and ring up a, you know, a Cervelo or a Specialized and just find some proprietary part and then pay like 80 bucks for a seat clamp assembly or something. You know, like Canyon was selling some seat clamp assembly for like 120 bucks. It's like, that's a $5 clamp bolt system, you know? And it just works really, really good. I shouldn't have put that titanium bolt in there. I mean, titanium bolts, that was that was on me. But um, just stuff that works, man. These mirrors, let me give a quick plug of these mirrors while I'm hyped up to do a video. All right, these mirrors here, man, I love them. Cat Eye BM45, game changer. Everyone who uses one of these mirrors is like, man, how did I ride without a mirror beforehand? You mean, how did I ride? Just, this is what Team Sky needed the other day, Giro Stage 17, when Egan Bernal ran out of carbohydrate, you know what I mean? He ran out of carbs and he got dropped and by Yates and Martinez was pacing him back and Martinez needed one of these so he could go down to the Watts and just have the right, you know, the right, right data on there so he could just go, okay, Egan's bonking, he's running out of carbs, his glycogen petitioning's getting low, let's drop it from 400 watts down to 350, 320 and I'll use my mirror to calibrate what facial expression Egan's got in the mirror and ride my wattage accordingly and get that minimising the lost seconds there, all right? He's giving away free time by not having this. Is I'm not even sure if this is UCI illegal, but it should be because it's so dangerous. When you're in the peloton of 180 riders and you're looking back over your shoulder, that's so dangerous, man. So dangerous. You might as well ride your seat like that. You know, it's just so dangerous. These should be mandatory for races. I love my mirror. Tactical advantage for sure. You see who's coming up in your wheel. I had a, a Tesla just come up before. A Tesla. I didn't even hear it, but I saw it in the mirror. You mean so? I don't know where you live, but I ride around where there's cars, Teslas. I live in a quite a rich suburb, and there's Teslas around here. So it's just good to be able to ride two abreast, having a chin wag, and be checking my mirror. I know who's coming up and behind, and uh, make some room, etc. Just riding safe. There we go. Pragmatic product. <laughs> Let me ride like that for the next next 24 hours.